Hi, my dog lovers. Hi, this is Dr. Tobias, and today I'm here to discuss one um, important topic uh, to make sure that you understand the effect of cleanse. Uh, many of you have been asking the question whether cleanse in dogs works, and uh, I would like to explain why I have uh, been recommending cleanse in dogs for a couple of decades now and why it has been such an essential part in healing and creating a healthy and long life for your dog. Now, um, in front of you are two sets of results, before and after cleanse. You can see that there have been um, uh, two years between taking these uh, sets of results. And um, what we've done with this particular patient, we initially started a cleanse uh, every six months and then also supplemented essential nutrients such as minerals and vitamins and uh, probiotics and omega oils. Now, this is important because the body uh, uses uh, minerals for obviously function of every cell. There are 37 trillion reactions happening in the body every second. And if the healthy and essential nutritional elements or minerals are missing, then the heavy metals and toxins will take place of, um, of these um, healthy elements and uh, will create havoc in the chemistry of the body. Now we have three different sections in each results. One of them is the uh, the area of nutritional elements or healthy minerals. You can see that there is calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, copper, and so on. And then uh, there are toxic elements or heavy metals. Uh, the most commonly known ones are arsenic, mercury, cadmium, and lead, and also aluminum here. Now, there's another area, and that is um, a section of additional elements. So you can see that I have uh, highlighted the strontium. Now, strontium has been playing an increasingly important, increasingly important role um, since uh, the Fukushima disaster, and it has been released from uh, the, the nuclear plant in the water, and it has been polluting the oceans. Now, I have seen strong or very clear increase in strontium levels in dogs, especially those who get sardines. And some of you have been asking, why is this possible? Well, sardines are eaten with bones, and strontium is capable of replacing calcium in bones. So it deposits in the bones. And when we feed fish with bones, such as sardines or small fish, then obviously it gets into our dog's body. And then it, is, uh, it can be found in hair. I forgot to tell you that these tests are actually done by hair analysis. We uh, call it hair key test. And uh, what do we do? We basically take the hair samples of your dog and uh, dissolve it into plasma and then count the atoms of the different elements. Uh, so it's a very accurate method and uh, it is also an inexpensive and quite simple method when it comes to uh, making it. There is no blood collection needed, uh, no veterinary office visit. Uh, you can just collect pieces of hair and send it to, the, to us um, by submitting hair key test and get these results. So I'm just going to show you here that uh, before the cleanse, this particular dog had a very jagged mineral curve. Uh, when I see that, I see that this dog has excess in some minerals and also deficiency or kind of like abnormal um, pattern in, in other minerals. I don't really like to see this jagged curve. I like to see a curve that is smoother. And you can see that after the cleanse, it has become much smoother. Now you may be wondering why the iron here is low and, and it sometimes happens in dogs um, and uh, what I do, I usually take a very simple approach by searing my dog's food uh, on a cast iron pan once or twice a week, very lightly just to make sure that some of the iron from the pan will, will get in, in uh, my dog's food and then um, supplements the iron. So it's a very simple way of supplementing iron. You don't really need any particular supplementation other than just taking your dog's food and very lightly searing the surface of it on cast iron pan. Now we're going to go to the heavy metals here and you can see that uh, in this particular dog the mercury levels will, were out of normal range and uh, the value here is 0.05 you can see that after the cleanse and, and supplementing essential minerals, uh, we have um, a normal level of mercury. Now, uh, mercury is capable of competing with other um, elements such as iron or copper 
and selenium. So just remember that if there is not enough of these elements, mercury will take its place and or their place and will, will cause havoc in the chemical reactions. So once again, before and after cleanse, you can see that the levels of mercury dropped and um, so did uh, cadmium levels. Uh, cadmium levels were at 0.12, still within the reference range, but after cleanse, we have a very negligent, uh, negligible um, amount of cadmium. And so uh, did uh, aluminum, a slight decrease from 2.3 to 1.4, about 30% plus minus. So uh, this is a good example of what cleanse can do. And if some of you have been questioning whether it's actually a viable method of, of keeping your dog healthy, I have seen such amazing results with, uh, with just doing a couple of cleanses. And uh, I usually recommend doing cleanse every six months and then um, repeating the results um, or hair key tests after some time. As I said, strontium is a concern in our dogs and you can see that after cleanse, it reduced more than 50% from 0.88 to, which was off the scale, to 0.42, which is almost close to normal. Now strontium is not easy to get rid of because it deposits in the bones, but you can see that over time, it can make a difference. Obviously, another step is to stop feeding fish and stop feeding sardines, which is super important if they are the source of mercury and strontium. If you have any questions, uh, you can go on my website and search for the blog on strontium and sardines and also mercury and toxicity in fish. And um, you can also email us at peterdubias.com, which is our website, and you can just find the contact page and uh, shoot us an email. And if you're interested in learning more about uh, how to keep your dog healthy and long living, you can subscribe at peterdubais.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Cheers.